they made it into the fourth spot. And uh, bad news on the way in. I keep my camera on my tripod and my camera sticks out above my bag. And I was going around this, this fallen tree and the branch grabbed the camera that was on the tripod, snapped the tripod, and the camera rolled into the creek. And the tripod is very important in that style of hunting camera. That sucks. That sucks. I think that's like the 13th one I've put in the creek. That one I've had for four years though. And I've, I've never done it. That was the first time. So, it's over there. Drying off in the sunlight. We'll see if it works, I guess. But like I said, tripod is very important. So I can use my spotting scope. And this is how we got rigged. Always carry electrical tape. She ain't going nowhere. So now we're up here. It's got a camp set up. I'm on the edge of uh, the timber here. All I gotta do is go right over here and glass. It's some really, really nice country. Been doing a ton of hiking, coming in and out of these spots. This is, like I said, this is my fourth spot in three days. And uh, doing a lot of hiking. Today's the third day of the season. You got a visitor. A couple locals saying hello, welcome you to the neighborhood, hopefully. Mountains always try to put you down, take you out of the game. Yeah, it sucks about the camera, but hopefully we can get it to work. But until then, I'm gonna film on my phone. I'm probably not even gonna turn my camera on till till tomorrow just to see if it works. But we're here. Hopefully there's a, a good buck in here. This is a pretty remote spot. So hopefully that's what it takes. Can't see it from the road. Can't see it from a hiking trail. You gotta be here to see this country. And uh that's what I'm looking for. Hopefully there's a big old buck in here. I'm gonna mosey over and try to find a good spot to glass. Try to see the most country I can see. Glassed for about three and a half hours, four hours almost. Found four does. But the mornings always seem to produce more for me as far as bucks. So we'll see what the morning will bring. There's also there's also a couple of elk over here by me, which is pretty cool. Let's do a bull rake tree. Pretty neat. But tomorrow's a new day. We'll see what happens. Morning of day four of the season. I've been out since first light. It's about 10 o'clock right now. I've seen five does, two does, five does. 12 does. No bucks. There's not a lot of places to hide. It's a pretty open country. I feel like I would have seen a buck by now if there was one in here. I've got a really good angle with all this stuff. I can see about 95% of it, which that 5% might be where they're at. I've seen it before. But for 12 does to be in here, that all elevations I've seen the does as well not even one buck around it's weird not even a 4k or anything well in my last video I just took I mentioned how I can only see 95% of it and that 5% I've seen before where once you that one spot you can't see it's where it holds a buck so that motivated me to get up and walk over a little bit so I could see this back corner. There's three bucks in it. Look like small bucks, but I was right. That one corner you typically can't see is where they're at. Just four young bucks up there. Tried to put my phone on the scope, but uh, 
electrical tape job won't support the weight of the phone. We'll give it a little more time here and see what we can see before bouncing out of here. All right, I think it's day four of the season. Yeah, day four. Uh, this is where I was two days ago when I saw a nice four by four and that other hunter chased him over the mountain. I was playing the footage of that buck on my phone and I'm like, man, that is a pretty nice buck. So now I'm back in here, gonna try to relocate him. And uh, bad news, I, uh, my camera is done. It's fried. Dropped in the creek yesterday by accident. Thought my tripod broke and it fell in the creek. So now I'm like a drummer with no drum, a bass player with no bass, a pianist with no piano. But I got my phone. That's how I'm gonna record the rest of the hunt. And we'll see how that goes. I got a huge hole in my pants that I can't show you because it's in that spot. I mean, it is a huge hole. I mean, these pants are ruined. My tripod's broke, camera's broke, pants are broke, but I'm still good, I'm still healthy. Got a good mindset, looking to relocate this buck. Seems like the mountains are trying to bring me down, but I'm gonna stick with it here. This spot's been getting a little bit of hunting pressure. I mean, it was just two, two guys that obviously, in my eyes, had no clue what they were doing. They were just coming into the bottom about mid-morning and sitting down. I don't even think they had binoculars. It was two different guys doing the same thing. And uh, one is the one guy did that and pushed, pushed that buck that I'm in here after into the next drainage over. So we're just in here to see if that buck's back. And uh, if he's not back, there's there's other bucks around, so we'll see what happens. Just got the tent set up, and it's still pretty early. And uh, but I'm gonna go down to the glass and spot, and maybe take a nap and see what happens. It's the morning of day five. Last evening, I only last up a few does and a spike. This morning, I got forty. A few does and a spike. Five does. And then I found uh, the one buck that was with that big 4x4. Four four. He's also a 4x4. Four four. He's just went and did some timber there. A little isolated pocket of timber. He just went in. I haven't seen a bigger buck that was with him yet. But I didn't see those. The other day I didn't even lay eyes on them until almost noon, I think. Right before noon. Then they got bumped out of the basin, but this one's back. Just trying to keep tabs on them. And keep my eyes peeled. They might have got they might have gotten to a little fight, split up. The other one might have got shot, who knows? Well, we're gonna stick around and find out. And if this buck beds, I can't find the other buck. I'm gonna go after him. It's also a good buck. When they were with each other, they looked like they were about the same age. The other one was just taller. This buck's not bad. Yes, you can't see him right now, but we'll see if we lay that on him again. I can't tell if it's the bigger buck or the smaller buck, but it was either way it's a nice buck that I'd like to go after. It could be a completely different one, I don't know. It's been about 45 minutes since I last saw him. To my knowledge, he hasn't come out of that pocket of trees, but he definitely could have. I'm not 100% that he's in there. It's been well over an hour since I last saw him go into that same spot. I haven't seen him come out. And, uh, so, looking at it, I won't be able to, if I, if I do do this, I need the wind to pick up, and it's starting to pick up now, because it's rock, and my shot would be about 140 yards, just measuring it from my phone. It just being here, I've heard deer walking on the other hill from 300 yards away. Deer walking on the 
deer can hear a lot farther than me. So if this wind really picks up, I can justify putting myself in position. But until then, we're sitting ducks. So this wind is kicking up a little bit. It's really tempting. Yeah, I've been watching it for an hour, 15 minutes. I have not seen anything come out of it. There's the wind. That's what we want. So I'll sh I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it because I'm thinking, like, what if I can't find him tomorrow? What if he beds in a worse spot tomorrow, you know? It's not a bad spot for for a gun hunter to have a mule deer bedded. Terrible for a bow. I would even hunt deer with a bow. <laughs> I've tried it. Hunting this rocky, steep stuff very, very hard, especially with a recurve. Buck is bedded here, allegedly, below this little cliff. There is a doe in here that I watched go into there. Um, can't go. If I got to here, I'd have no shot. There's too much timber. Uh, there's tre little trees in the way, but this rock up here, that white rock face, if I can get on that, it's a 140 yard shot to him. So I'm going to walk up here, get on that ridge, get at his elevation and side hill it. The wind's going up the valley, so it should be alright. Yeah, I can always turn around if I'm not feeling it, if the wind switches or dies. I can always stop before I get too close. But I'm going to start moving. we got seven hours till dark, so I can make this stalk really long. I mean, it's quite the elevation gain, but I can do it pretty quick. I don't have much weight on me, just the gun on my pack. I have a lot of stuff here. And we'll see what happens. Need some water in me. We're gonna get moving.